She scraped the dirt from beneath her nails and married Edgar. Psst. What has happened to Heathcliff? Who knows what happened in those last years? Perhaps he escaped to America to make his fortune. <gasps> or turned to crime on the English highways. One thing that is certain is that Heathcliff returned three years to the day as fine a gentleman as you will ever see. Oh, oh. I will rip through my skin, tear up my soul, sever my limbs, bury my past, just to rest, just to sleep, just to be with. Oh, Edgar! Edgar, darling, Heathcliff's come back! The gypsy? The plowboy? You must not call him by those names! He's a gentleman now. There's no need to be frantic. I know you don't like him, dear, but for my sake, you must be friends now. <gasps> Shall I tell him to come up? Here? Heathcliff, come into the parlour? Where else? Set two tables, then, dear. One for you and Isabella being gentry, and the other for Heathcliff and myself being of the lower orders. Stop it, Catherine. I'll run and get him, shall I? I'll invite him up. Catherine, try to be glad without being absurd. The entire household need not witness the sight of you welcoming a runaway servant as a brother. Mr. Heathcliff, welcome, <laughs> sir. And yet, cruel Heathcliff, you do not deserve this welcome. To be absent and silent for three years and to never think of me. I have thought of you more than you have thought of me, Catherine. I heard of your marriage, and while waiting to be invited inside, I hatched a plan. A plan? My plan was to have one last glimpse of you, settle my score with Hindley, and then kill myself to put an end to this life of misery. No! Indeed. Your welcome has put these ideas out of my mind for now. Good. 